I'll put my music on shuffle and be pissed if I don't get the right song. Plot twist, I have no idea what the right song is, but we'll know it when I hear it. Don't eat the rich, that's tainted meat. Decompose the rich. Mm. Because this tumbler totally needed a coyote in a purse. Um, excuse me, sir, that is my emotional support trickster god. Thank you. Why do movies show nerdy girls as carrying a billion books and then portray them as physically weak? If a girl can carry the Harry Potter series, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and all of her textbooks, then she could probably lift a protagonist football star and throw him across the football field. It's true. Writing prompt. Cthulhu, as an eldritch being, sees humans as humans see insects, which is to say, harmless but inexplicably terrifying. Cthulhu chasing humanity around with a shoe while crying. Minecraft? Seth Everman? Are, are you two politely acknowledging each other in a hallway? Men want her. Women want to be her. Children befriend her, but their parents fear her. Doctors hate her, and police officers had explode in her presence. Scientific consensus on her nature and origins has not been reached. Authorities warn civilians to stay away from her and report any sightings immediately. Jolene. How to do everything last minute, a novel by me that I'm going to write later. Wait, didn't I already do this one? Ah, I'll think about it later. Another anecdote from Greek class. Apparently there's an episode in the Bible where Jesus asks Peter, do you love me, using a form of the verb... I'm not even gonna try. I already hate it when I mispronounce words. I'm not even gonna try. Using a form of the verb that means love, but like in the cosmic religious sense of the word. And Peter says yes, but he uses the word that also means love, but much more general casual way. So basically, Jesus Christ, Son of God, Ask Peter if he loves him, and Peter says, yeah, as a friend. <laughs> I can't believe the Messiah got friend-zoned. Girl stares outside of the window on train, looking pensive. Boy, she's so beautiful, so thoughtful. My manic pixie dream girl. Girl to herself. How many donuts can I stuff in my mouth at one time? The worst kind of griffin would be a fox seagull. Screams all day and all night and is definitely in your garbage. Can you imagine life in a world with this flavor of griffins instead of some majestic lion eagle soaring through the skies deep in the untouched wilds? You'd be stuck trying to drive a raccoon crow, a creature that would fight God for half a bagel, from your garbage bin with only a broom and an oven mitt to defend yourself. That sounds a lot more realistic. Today I learned America's big four rival pizza chains, Domino's, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, and Little Caesars, all buy their cheese from the same man, James Leprino. He sells one billion pounds of cheese each year. Oh my god, it's him. The big cheese! Wait, if you have social anxiety, and I have social anxiety, then who's going to order the food? Third friend who has the mom Fred anxiety override. Oh, right. Yeah, silly me. I haven't seen anyone mention the greatest cultural impact Yahoo Answers has made yet. Are you tired of being nice? Don't you just want to go ape shit? Do you think if student loans did a long apology video with no ads on, they would be forgiven already? Staff deactivated? What? What? Oh my god, Frankenstein fleed from his own monster!